Sisters of the Universe fans, it's the one and only Optiponymous coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of my Optiponymous Plus channel members, specifically Emerald T, who was able to find this figure for me, as well as all of you that just hit that thumbs up button. We're going to be taking a look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Ram Man, the human battering ram himself, finally makes his way into my collection. Now I say that because this was a character I loved growing up, but I never had a vintage toy of them. And even when they released them in the classics line, by that point in time, I had stopped collecting those and never got them. So this is quite literally the first Ram Man figure that I have ever owned myself. And I am super excited. As I said, he is a deluxe figure, which means you get a, a slightly larger figure, but a bunch of other uh, additional accessories. Like you can see, you get an alternate head. You get a double-bladed axe as well as the single axe. One of which I, I want to say, uh, and I, honestly, I don't, I don't remember, but I want to say like one of these he used in the 2000X series. I could be wrong. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look and get more information on it. But you can see you do have his little mini comic there in the background. Got that gorgeous blister, gorgeous art. Come around to the back of the package. You see other figures that are currently available. Uh, I know that Clamp Champ is kind of a part of this sort of release. But I don't really have much interest in him. I, I don't even know anything about that character. And that one of the best parts is that even though that this is still a very articulated figure... They still were able to put in his spring-loaded effect, which is wonderful. Of course, at the top section here, you got tremendous art. You can see Skeletor. You got Ram Man, Baker, which I'm really excited about getting that. I think that he's been hitting some stores recently, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that new wave. And then uh, I forgot that it was the Rotan, I think. But as like with all of these, when you look at the art and stuff, this might give us an impression of what is to come in the future, which again super excited about I, I love the fact that mattel is all in with this line but for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have ram man opened up and out of his packaging and i honestly can't tell you how excited i am to finally have a Ram Man figure. I know I could have gotten one at any point in time, but that's one of the most amazing parts of the whole origin line. It allows you to kind of revisit those old vintage toys with a more modern take on them in terms of articulation and things of that nature. This guy is super fun. Now, starting off first, uh, he does come with several accessories. Uh, he does come with a left fist that you can plug in. Obviously, you just got the little peg thing here. So you just pull that out and you can put that right and yeah, just like that. So now he's got his little fists in there, which is perfectly fine. I, I love it. So you got the little fist right there. Uh, and because of that, now you have two axes. And I want to say that this was the vintage one. I, honestly, I don't remember. But one of these came with the vintage figure. And I love how they got this. It's just done in the uh, gray plastic. But like you can even see sculpting in the blade are little nicks. I love that small little attention to detail. That's really sharp. I mean, not literally, but you get what I'm saying. And then you get a double-bladed axe. Both of these can be held fairly easily. Um, this one a little bit easier. This one, though, does have a little bit of a problem because you can't really slide it in. So you kind of have to just wedge it in to get him to hold it. Uh, but you can still do it. So there you go. Now you have him dual-wielding axes. The other really cool thing about this is you can actually connect these. The problem, though, is you can't really get his arms in a position to have him holding the two of them. Uh, it's a little unfortunate. A lot more articulation in this guy, but doesn't really help all that much. You can go like that, and they can connect. But like I was saying, uh, there's no real way to get him to hold both of these. Oh, ouch. Sorry, sorry, Rain Man. Uh, you just can't bring the arms in close enough to get them to hold both things. So basically, you would just have to do something like this if, if you wanted to. Well, don't turn his arm all the way around. Uh, so that does kind of stink, but realistically, I'm probably just going to have him hold those in both of his hands. He also does come with this alternate portrait, which looks really nice. It's very similar to the one that's on there. Uh, the sculpt and everything up here is all pretty much the same. I don't know if he's got... I would imagine he's got a face underneath there. Um, you can kind of see it. 
Uh, kind of, yeah, that totally looks like his face is still underneath there. You can see that's a little bit uh, rubbery, so you can kind of move that away. But it's got the little mouth guard right there, and you can even see that it's got an extra little piece that comes down and covers up the eye area. I mean, you can kind of see that there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where this is from. Maybe the 2000X series. I I'm not sure. It's nice. It's not something that I care that much about, but in terms of getting all these extra accessories of sorts and getting the extra head, that's what makes this a deluxe figure, or what the, part of what makes it a deluxe figure. So I like that they included it. I'm never going to use it for anything. Um, one thing I will say, though, about the head sculpts, both are really very nice. And if I come in, the, the problem that I have with this one is you can see that it is off-centered a little bit like you can see like where this part is kind of not touching the nose whereas this one is kind of right there it's a millimeter or, or something but it bugs me so literally i'm going to want to heat this up to get that glue to break up and then slide that over i don't even know you might even oh God, it's not bright enough there let me see if i can zoom in a little bit more you can kind of see that it's just shifted over just a smidge it's enough that it drives me nuts. Um, so it is what it is. Um, I could probably fix it. I probably will just end up forgetting about it. But you can see that they are basically the same. You got the little dent right there in his head. So, and you can see it's just a ball joint. So it pops on and off very easily. The figure, though, looks great. Uh, again, updated look. And the th you know, when you look at this, I could easily see people getting this confused with the vintage one. There are noticeable changes. The one that instantly kind of stands out for me is going to be these bracers. Now, in the original one, it was sculpted in this kind of shape, but they gave you a silver sticker that went around just this. And this was left completely blank. It, it was flesh colored but it was meant to be part of his actual bracer itself that always looked weird but now you can see that it's fully painted looks fantastic the armor looks really good you got the chains going around here up to the top section this is a softer rubbery material so it doesn't really hinder articulation all that much although you don't really need that much articulation with this guy which brings me to another point that while he does have basically the same arms you can and, and i can do this uh let's bring in he-man i'm gonna pull his arm off pull his arm off if you wanted to this is something that you can absolutely do and it looks ridiculous uh granted you can't really get the arm to go down that far because it kind of sticks out but if you wanted to take his arm and do that you probably could let's get that in there there you go um that looks really weird to me. Uh, but the articulation is basically the exact same uh, in uh, the, the upper arms. I mean, this is a ball joint. This kind of limits some things, so you can still rotate it. Uh, but those little pieces do kind of get in the way. So the arms are basically the same. You have the hinge. You have the swivel. Same thing with the elbow. Same thing with the wrists. Come down to the waist. There is nothing at the waist. This is all one solid bit of plastic uh, unlike this guy that does have at least the waist rotation you can also separate there you can't do that with him that's all locked into place the legs though can rotate around and you do have knee joints which is nice so you can have them um, kind of walking not even really all that good because that, that yeah that, that's not going to work all that well um I, don't, I feel like you don't need to have knee articulation there at all. There, there's no point to it because you can't really do anything with them. Um, I mean, <laughs> you can't really uh, get that, get a walking pose with it. So, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's pointless. And then it kind of looks like th there's a boot cut here, but you can't really rotate it there. But you do have a rotation at the knee, which is fine. Uh, I, I just, like I said, I feel like... They didn't need to put that articulation in there. And, you know, the, the complaint would be, well, these are all modern figures, so you need to have that articulation. But sometimes I feel like it's a waste. And I definitely think it is in, in this guy's case because the gimmick here is the spring-loaded action, which is wonderful. So if I can illustrate that, hopefully this works pretty good. First, you have to push the legs down. 
it creates <laughs> in a very stubby sort of look. So, I mean, great. I mean, Ram Man was always kind of a stubby guy. Let's um, do a comparison here uh, right off the bat so that you can kind of see it. You know, standing fully upright, he obviously is a little bit shorter, but I always envision him being even stubbier. So that kind of works. I kind of like that, to be totally honest with you. But the the whole thing is his spring loaded gimmick. Now I want to say that the original one had like a little button that you would push that would launch it. Literally all you do now is you just push it back down and do that. And oh, he actually stayed standing. So again, push it down, locks it, push it down again, and oh, of course, of course, it's only gonna work the one time. But that is stupid awesome. I mean. Literally, the one time that I did it was the first time. So, I'm disappointed now. And I'm just... Uh, oh, so close. Uh, I love that. Absolutely freaking love it. And you can, you know, I mean, I guess you could... That's No, let's do uh, Cronus. Because he's here. So, you can... Boom! There it is. You can have him ramming. I mean, that alone, I think, is worth the price of admission with this dude I, I just think that it is wicked cool super fun um it, for me it, one of the most fun figures in the uh the masters of the universe line and i'm just so happy that they you can i mean yeah i mean you can totally see that the nose or the face is uh not glued and that's gonna drive me nuts i'm gonna have to fix that um, i'm so glad that they decided to actually put that gimmick in here it, it was essential for the character and love the fact that they did it and i like that you can just keep them squat like that i think that's really cool but um absolutely fantastic wonderful wonderful figure cannot recommend this guy enough to you if you are a masters of the universe fan he, he he's a must-have i mean he is Kind of derpy, dopey, runs around smashing his head into things. So he's probably not that bright. And, oh, hey, let me see. Let me, oh, ow. I wanted a, I'm sorry, He-Man. I wonder if this works. Oh, sweet Jesus. That works. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm just, I'm just having so much fun with this guy. Oh, I don't think that... Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Uh, the peg isn't long enough. You could just sit in there. <laughs> but no, that, that doesn't peg in. I mean, it works the other way around, but not that way. Uh, but yeah, just a fun character. Super fun. Him and Orko were kind of comedic relief uh, to a degree, and I, I, I loved them. So... There you are, guys. There's my look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins Ram Man. If you want to pick him up, you can do so over online at places like Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link right down in the video description where you can go there and check out availability on him, as well as the rest of the wide range of Masters of the Universe Origin figures. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my Optobotomist Plus channel members who through their direct support continue to help to make reviews like this and many others possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a channel member, where you can get exclusive channel chat and comment emojis, loyalty badges, exclusive unboxing videos, live streams, Zoom calls, the occasional giveaways, as well as access to the Optobotomous Plus only Discord, then please consider becoming a member of Optobotomous Plus. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. And finally, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.